Oh yeah. Yeah, we're still in lockdown, but lucky for me, I have a, a lovely little spot beside me, as well sheltered and inside my remit, so I'm laughing, kind of, when the weather suits. Today I'm just going to fish for Pollock, maybe get lucky with a bass or a trout, but I'm going to be using mostly Sprat. In Sprat, a lot of people don't use them because they're too soft, too soft, and they just can't get them on the hook. A lot of the time, that's true, they're too soft and they're useless. But if you look after them well, don't crush them. On the leaf frost, they're best defrosted in water, sea water. And when you're hooking them, <clears throat> you'll see in the top of the sprat's head, there's like a little triangle shape. If you hook him from the top down, oops, not to drop the hook now. If you hook them from the top down through the little triangly shape there in the top, right down between the eyes, hop it between the gills, you get a really good hook hold. Now that's all you need, like that there. They're fishing the light set up, and this here, when the pollock takes it, or a bass or a trout, it's feel the nod. And you give them a second and then strike hard, and the hook will pull clean out through the head and hook the fish. Also what happens as well, because it's almost working weedless, it doesn't get caught very often on the bottom. That bait there, even though it's a sprat just out of the freezer, it's been in the freezer now two months, so it wasn't in a day or so. And we'll give it a lash. I cast no bother. I'm not looking a huge cast, I'm fishing with my kayak. We're fishing from a boat can be the same. Off the shore you'll probably want to get further out but like it's a really effective way to fish so much worth giving it a go. It's great for trolling this. Yes. It's a dead so tro slow troll. I'm just fishing a five gram lid. There's that sprat back again after the cast. Okay. He's in good shape. Now you're not going to be continually casting the same sprat. I generally prefer to troll them. Alright, he's still got the hook in place. But the thing about sprat is, what I'm finding over the last year or so, is that when the fish are on the big ones or the small ones, it's not that often I'm getting the, I like You would still expect to get a hit on both sizes, but I'm not. It's either one or the other. And a lot of the time of late, <coughs> it's been the smaller sprat. Even though I am seeing the bigger ones about. Um, it's the smaller sprat they've been hurting more often. And I don't mean two pound fish or one pound fish. Like five, six pound pollock are still coming up and hitting the little ones. Far quicker than the bigger ones. Maybe it's just the area I'm in. But these haven't been defrosted yet and I don't want to pull at them. But you'll see the size difference in them. The little small ones compared to the big ones. You know, to defrost these, I'm just gonna fill the bag up with water and let it sit in the deep bucket. It'll take them about 10 minutes. The outer ones will start to fall off. Don't be tempted to start pulling, pe trying to peel them off the side because you only wreck them. So you just take the ones that are loose off the side. And the great thing about these small ones is that there's loads in the bag. I catch these myself. I catch the small ones myself with a little draft net made from builder's mesh. Um, the bigger ones, you get a few with a throw net. But um, a very kind commercial gave me a right few bags of them there when the sprat season was on. Small time commercial, now, not an industrial job. But yeah, they'll defrost in about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll be getting plenty of small ones coming off. And the small ones are great when you're trolling. You can start flicking an odd one out here and there as you go. And it's great for bringing up fish. So yeah, we're going to plod along with this and see how it goes. No idea what it's going to be like today. It's an early breeze in it, but it's nice and it's calm. 
see what happens. Well, there's a large spratty on the thing. A nice fish here. A good scrap. Oh, cracking winter pollock fringe here. I wasn't really expecting anything too huge today, but that is a fantastic fish for the time of year, especially in Shirley. Lovely fish, absolutely lovely. He's fighting like a little demon too. He's on quite a light hook now. Come here again, thicker. Lovely fish. Has to be four and a half pound. Absolutely delighted with that. And that's trolled with about an eight gram, five between five and eight gram cone lid. And uh, that was in about 15 feet of water. And trolled at a medium troll, so it'll probably be sitting in about mid water. And I was slowing down to reel in that lure, so it went a bit deeper. So it was quite close to the bottom, I'd say. A couple of feet off the bottom, whatever that fish hit there. That's the hook there. For them, I used, like to use the Gamatsu. Size 2 hook. It is a light hook, but it's very good at hooking up. And first... Pollock of 2021. I will be keeping this fish. Freezer's empty. Well, that was it. That was only the one fish today. One hit, one hook up. Might have had a few nibbles on the on a western grub like. And a worm job, jelly worm. But yeah, how at least we wind it and held today. But yeah, one nice fish will do right there. It's nice to get out. So yeah, the sprat, the sprat was the only thing that got a proper hit. And the fish lures out, the spinners out, and the sprat was the only thing that got a touch. There you go. So I'll try again when it's not an instantly wind. There you go. Thanks for watching.